Finally? Finally? Yes! I hate brown trouts. Quickly, let's just quickly go this way and go see the, the woman. What's going on, Yuki? Yes, I am. <laughs> My brown trout six days. I'll show you a brown. Never mind. Never mind. What? <laughs> Your name is Mungy, right? Wait, didn't she just say hers was 69 centimeters as well? Should I catch the River King? Yuki, send rain. Yuki, make it rain. Like a cornerback at a strip club. Wait, isn't this the summit, not the lake? Sweet. The River King is on the west side of the lake near the reeds. I found it, Pops. I mean, sir. <laughs> Thanks, Paps. I mean, Zeus. Sorry. Sir, please don't hurt me. Don't put a lightning bolt in my rectum. Alright, before... That is a big looking fish. Oh god, it's gonna eat us. No, it didn't eat us. Thought it was gonna be like the old River King that ate at us. Alright. Let's put on the frog lure, because that is the special lure that Kappa made for us. And let's make our way to the west side of the lake. How are we doing on hit points? Not very good. Let's eat a little bit of box lunch. Yeah, still need 35 for maximum. Well, no point holding out at this point. Let's get ourselves full. Sated. Ha <laughs> ha! Liking how full I am. Alright, here's reeds on the west side. Is this where we want to look? Like, before I start, I want to really look. Is there more reeds over here? This is the west side of the lake, as opposed to there, which isn't quite the west side. West Saeed, you know. Alright. Well, let's take a look. No time like the present. Let's get a full view here. There's fish over there. And we can... The good news is, in the reeds, we don't move. The current doesn't affect you in the reeds. So we can definitely... How about I actually cast this somewhere that might help? I don't know if this is it or not. We'll have to wait and see if these fish are going to react. Well, that one's reacting. Interesting. This lure behaves completely differently, and this is a neat-looking fish. I'm not sure if this is a River King or not. But we'll stay here for the fight anyway, just in case it is. Because if it's the River King, I want you guys to witness it. Damn River King. King of the river. It's all like, I like rivers, and I'm the king of them. And junk. Well... I guess if we catch this uh, this river king and eat it, does that, does that make this river re uh, re regicide? Oh crap, I'm going to lose him if I don't pay attention. I should probably pay attention to how fast I'm reeling him in. I hate being at this depth though, I like being at the surface. Once you're at the surface, it's easier to gauge when a fish is going to stop pulling. But we're not quite there yet. Because if you look at the top layer, you see how it's moving? Once it starts to really slow down, you know the fish is about to make a run. Like, now. So you just let go. I know I've already covered this before, but it bears repeating. That one, those are dangerous. Those ones, they never speed up enough to tell. And if you're not paying close attention, you can lose a fish. So, I'll often just let them go early, because I don't want to risk it. Man, I'm not getting much run on this fish. Maybe this is the River King. If it's not, it's a strong, strong, big fish. Man, oh man, there's some strong, big fish in this game. Oh, good. Two good runs in a row. This is excellent news. And he's making a big run. That's unfortunate. But another good run for us. That's three in a row. Excellent. Excellent. I'm saying excellent because it's excellent, but I'm also hexing myself so I don't hex it. It's a reverse hex. A double hex, if you will. You gotta be smart like that when it comes to games. You gotta outthink them. Oh, that's just not gonna work. Don't run so far away. Wow. Whoa. 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 Oh, and I get that as the response one. Are you kidding me? Come on, game. That's not cool. That's not cool at all. At least it isn't like the, that one uh, fish in the, uh, the first game, the shrimp. Dear God, that thing was brutal to catch because you couldn't reel it in for any amount of time. You just had to kind of... You kind of just had to 
tap its way in, and that didn't always work. It was a tough fish to catch. It always broke the lure. Like, talk about ridiculous. What were they thinking? Making that thing the hardest thing to catch. It's like the smallest thing in the game, too. Oh, those tricky dicky doos. I don't know what they were thinking. And, yes, I've noticed that using a lure means your fights take forever because you catch a fish so far back. Unless you purposely go out of your way and try to drag it closer. But if this is the River King, I didn't want to risk losing it. And now that I'm so sure it's the River King, I'm positive when I get this in here, it's going to be like, you caught, like, I don't know, what kind of fish look like this in the first game? Like a snakehead or something. Because I, I have not done a lot of um, excess fishing, as you've noticed. I've mostly just been trying to stick to the story fish. Which just means I have more work ahead of me to fill out my memo. And unlike the last game, there's actually more of a reason to fill out your memo in this game. And I will get to that, because it actually does have a bit of more of a story to it. As opposed to just an extra lake that has all the fish types in it. Oh yes, there is a reason for it, and we will get to that. However, first things first, got to get this fish in the boat and see if it's the River Keg. You can, you can seriously just stop doing that. I would really appreciate it. Thank you. And looking at this fish, it kind of looks like, uh, what was that fish called in Animal Crossing? The one that was really valuable. Nah, that is a snakehead. Kind of looks like a, a coleocanth is what it looks like. Ah, well, at least it's a valuable fish. Okay, I got a fish down there, and I got a fish in the reeds. Of course, I can't see the one in the reeds, so... Is there anyone else out here? Just that one fish on his lonesome, eh? Eh? Well, we could let this lure just drop down. We'll see if we can line it up with him. But that's kind of silly. Let's actually go hunt this guy a little. Even though I don't have, uh... I don't have any more box lunches. I can actually visit the inn now, I think, which is good. All right, you got for me, buddy. Looks like another uh, another one of those. So, this lure is weird. It floats to the top if you're not reeling, and it stays at this level if you are reeling. It kind of has a bit of a sink to it. As opposed to the uh, spinner, which kind of just comes to the top and sinks to the bottom if you're not reeling it in at all. Well, I'll try to catch this guy. Hopefully, it's... Actually, it's going to be another snake head. It doesn't look like... I'm assuming the River King looks similar, but it has a different color pattern. Anyway, you'll join me when I catch it. Well, I lost it. <laughs> and it was 92 centimeters. That was a huge fish. That sucks. Fishies? See, I don't get how the fish just kind of appear and disappear at random in this game. Oh, well. It looks like another snake head. I'll find out in a second, won't I? It was another snake head. I decided to let him go, though. I realized that... What I'm thinking has got to be different looking than these guys. And trying to fish when it's this time of night is a pain in the ass. Alright, what do we got? Looks like another snakehead. Jeez, how many snakeheads are there around here? Alright, but we're getting closer, right? Alright, there's my next target. We're going to keep on looking. And of course the fish around the River King, like this guy... Want this damn frog lure. Come on, game. Give me a break. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So far, I haven't lost my lure by doing this. Now, I wonder if I lose the special lure, am I screwed? I don't really know. And trying to see fish in here is going to be tough. Well, let's try again. He looks a little different. This might be the River King. I'm suspicious that this is the River King. Its coloring is different. <coughs> I just did that quick screw off for the River King because... Well, it's smart to tempt fate with the, you know, the big-time valuable fish. Where is he? I'm just going to keep reeling in. You're going to come bite this. You know you want it, River King, you crazy god in fish form. Let's do this, you little punkus malunkus. Well, it sure runs like a god. Look at it. Look at this. It's like you wanted to cheat and get a little further in? I'll fix that advantage for you right quick. Where's your red wagon? Fixed. What's you saying? Red Wagon? What the hell is he talking about? It's an old reference. You probably aren't even aware of what it means. And that's okay. That's okay. I do know what it means. Therefore, I would say it. Because it comes from my basis of knowingness. And man, oh man, I've got the babble today. The babble is king today. 
Of course, we are fishing, so I guess it makes sense. Babble fish. Yeah, babble fish. Oh, yes. Yes. He is the king of this particular summit. Well, except for the actual king I'm fighting here. But whatever. I'm going to get him. I'm going to get him. He is going to be mine. I will own him. He will be mounted on my wall. Oh, wait. I can't mount the river king on my wall and uh, like platform and stuff him. I can't do that. That's okay. That's a waste of a fish, honestly. I know people say, once they get too big, the meat's not so good, and you want to, you know, have that trophy of that fish you caught. Take pictures. It's this, It really, it's cooler to see a picture of the thing when it's alive, and then either let it go, because, hey, old fish like that love to breed, and that makes more fish, or eat the damn thing. Don't just put it on the wall. That That's a waste of a fish, in my opinion. Thankfully, the mounting of fish seems to have gone the way of the coleocanth, if you will. Although I think those are actually still alive now that I think about it. I think they've caught a few of those in the last hundred years. But regardless, <clears throat> I mean, it's way of the dinosaur, I guess. It's not a cool way to treat a fish. And I'm sure the fishermen among us would have to agree that's not cool. Stuffing a fish. I also don't agree with just going out to catch a fish for the express purpose of doing that. Like catching like a, a blue marlin or something just to stuff it and put it on your wall. That's, that's not cool. Go, go fishing for the joy of it, and also to get yourself some uh, some meat. That's the reason to go fishing. Or just plain fun, catch and release. I do that a lot. Of course, when I do that, I'm normally just fishing for stupid crap fish like, uh, you know, rock bass or perch or... Uh, eh, smallmouth will bite, even mud pout. All depends what, what's in the particular river or lake I'm on. You'd be amazed where you can catch mud pout, by the way. I've caught mud pout trolling before. I'm not... Sorry, trolling. Trawling, I guess. I'll say trawling in case it's not properly said as trolling. It's said as trolling around here. But then again, you guys also give me hell for Mario. Whatever, I've always said Mario, and you'll have to get used to it. Not that I'm ever going to do another Mario game again by the looks of things, but you never know. You never know, do you? Do you? Or do you? You might. I mean, you could have a direct link into my brain, but honestly, I don't know if you can make sense of it. I can barely handle it most of the time. There, there, there's, there's a sea of chaos in there, as no doubt witnessed by some of the things I've rambled incoherently into a microphone over the last... Wow, we're nearly approaching four years that I've been doing uh, videos with narration. Almost four years. That's a long time, guys. Think about it. Some of you might have been in, like, grade nine when I started this, and now you're, like, done high school at that point. Or almost done high school, depending if you're going where there's five years. Yeah, I, when I went to high school, there was five years of high school, but I think it's only four years nowadays for uh, where I live. Used to be five. Used to have a grade 13 called OAC. I'm sure some of you must have experienced that, some of my fellow Ontarians. But I think we were one of the few places like in North America that did that five-year thing. I know the States didn't. I'm pretty sure Quebec didn't. And I don't think BC used to either. And those are some of the more populous places. Alberta, I'm not sure. It's another populous province. Anyway. No, it's a white catfish. Oh, game, you're making me sad. But it's big. Whoa. Oh, it was hiding out. Oh. Awesome. Game, you're not making me sad anymore. Yuki with the river gig. That is a big old fish. Damn. Is that a hole in his hat, or has he got that Japanese tear of, like, effort or frustration over his, his thing? Over his head? I don't know. But this game is so damn Japanese. Anyway. Let's see what's going on. We did it, thanks to you, Munchie. We need one more jewel, unless all the jewels are brought back together. This, is, this game is so Japanese. I love it. Uh-huh. The only thing that we can do now is wait for your brother. Oh, don't worry. My bro, stand-up guy, the teen, he's got this on lockdown. He'll have taken care of it. Yeah, see? He's just as good as me. He's got the Sea King. Fuck yeah. Gotten the jewel back. Stay here, Yuki. I'll go home and get the other jewel for my brother. And then come back. Yay. Didn't you go to the sea? I hope so. That's where the Sea King probably lives. Uh-huh. Yeah. Attacked by a sea eagle and hurt my leg. Oh, that sucks. No, no, that's me. He's okay. He failed. 
And they have the same shaped head. That's kind of weird looking. Uh-huh. You only hurt your leg. It's not like you broke it or something. Of course I will. Whoa. How come I disappeared? Oh, he disappeared. Ha! <laughs> All right. Next time, we are off to effort and find ourselves the Sea King. Just when you think you're done, they pull you back in.